Hello everyone and welcome to this MicroKates video. Today we will review Malta scene. I add on compared to standard Kubernetes networking and show you a demo of a simple MicroKates Kubernetes cluster deployment with Malta CNI. Kubernetes is the leading container orchestration framework. Standard Kubernetes pods allow for connection to one network interface only. However, the support of multiple network interfaces in Kubernetes pods is important for successful delivery of cloud and communication service provider services. I'll name a few scenarios where access to multiple networks from a single application is required. First, virtual network functions such as virtual routers, firewalls, VPN servers require connectivity to multiple networks by their nature. So in order to host them underlying infrastructure must be capable of providing the necessary connectivity to them. Next, hosting of applications requiring split data and control planes would not be possible without dedicated interfaces to corresponding networks. Another example that is often seen in the telecommunication environment is that different network access methods must be simultaneously available to the applications to achieve optimal cost to performance ratio. For example, the use of virtual switches, networking acceleration technologies like SRIV and DPDK can be simultaneously required by applications. Finally, multi-tenant applications would require access to the tenant networks on the infrastructure level. So, why was it necessary to create Maltus? Historically, Kubernetes pods could only have one network interface because by design Kubernetes abstracts from networking details and the networking configuration implementation is isolated in a CNI plugin. CNI plugin must follow the interfaces defined in the CNI specification. In fact, Kubernetes expects just the IP configuration for the single interface that it will use to control the pod. However, depending on the implementation, CNI can do more than just that, and this is utilized by Maltus CNI plugin. Maltus is a so-called meta-CNI or multiplexer CNI that calls other CNI implementations existing upstream for every extra network interface defined for a pod via network attachment definition Kubernetes object. Other notable CNI implementations include Flannel, Calico, MacVillan, SRID, and many, many others. Microcase delivers pure upstream Kubernetes with Malta CNI support that can fit a developer's laptop. That essentially means that the environment is available to you in minutes and it is suitable for Kubernetes development. It has small footprint to support edge cloud scenarios and it is fully compatible with upstream larger scale Kubernetes. Now it's time to take a closer look at Microcase networking. Let's imagine we have a small physical 3 node edge cloud that we're operating remotely. Let's also assume that each node has two physical network interfaces. One of them has external connectivity and it will be used for node management. Another one is connected to an isolated network and it must be given to Kubernetes workloads. Let's start with simple 3 node Microcase cluster with flannel networking deployed on those nodes. Cluster networking will be VXLAN based. Physical interfaces are not expected to have any direct connectivity to Kubernetes ports in that setup. Let's now see how it looks like when deployed in the lab environment. For the purposes of this demo, I prepared the 3 node mass cloud and it is managed by Juju for the convenient orchestration and automated deployment of the machines. So we see all three machines are up and running. They are connected to the external network, uh, which has the seeder of 10.0.10.0.24. And from here, we can uh, log into the machine one to check the detailed networking configuration if it matches our expectations. So we see the same physical interface as reported by Juju. We see another physical interface, which is private, uh, which will be used later in this demo, but it is already configured. So let's uh, also examine the detailed network configuration using the IP tool that is available in Linux distributions. So we now see the detailed output of the networking configuration, two physical interfaces and the two virtual interfaces. So Flannel 1 is the VXLAN interface created by Flannel and the CNI0 is the Linux bridge that connects the host to the VXLAN virtual interface. Let's move on now to the microcade status checks. Uh, to do that, we can issue the microcade status command which will show us the currently enabled add-ons and the overall status of the cluster. So we see now that microcase is running and the DNS add-on is enabled, which is what we expect. So for the first part of the demo, we will be using just Flannel. Uh, and uh, to do that, 
Let's also check that all the MicroKids cluster nodes have joined successfully. So we, three, so we see that all the three nodes are present. They are in ready status and they have proper internal IP reported by the kubectl get nodes. Okay, let's move on with our demo and check how the networking works with the pods running on Flannel network. So first we need to deploy three pods to our cluster. You see the pod specification on your screen. And we use node selectors here to make sure that each pod got scheduled to the dedicated physical machine and no collocation happened for pods. Um, so now we check if they are scheduled and running successfully. So yes, all three pods are in, in the running state. They got cluster IP addresses and uh, everything seems to be fine. Now we can uh, log into one of them to check the detailed networking configuration. And to, to be able to do that, we first need to install uh, IP route tools. So you will now see the process ongoing on the screen. And uh, it proved that we have function in external network connectivity with name resolution and internet access. So the packages are being installed right now. So the installation is successful. We now log can log into one of the pods and check the networking configuration from the inside. You will see uh, the network interface created by Flannel and just another one, which is the loopback. So that's what we expected. And now we can try to ping uh, interfaces on the private network that we've created earlier. And we see that uh, we can't ping them because they are not visible from inside the pods. We can only ping the host IP in the private network because it goes through the Flannel gateway uh, through the host forwarding. So we can repeat the same procedure for uh, the, rest, the rest of the pods and we will see exactly the same picture there. Uh, and the last one. Yeah, so we have just two network interfaces. Now, what if we wanted to have more than one network interface in our pods? Here we'll achieve that using microcades with Maltus add-on. On the diagram you see on the screen, there is an interface net1 connected to our pod, and this interface is attached to the host physical network interface using Linux Mac VLAN, a networking implementation. The rest components on the diagram remain as they were in Flannel only demo previously in this presentation. Now let's take a closer look how this works in our microcades lab. First, we need to log in to microcades node to enable Maltus add-on there. Okay, so Maltus is being enabled right now. It is successful. We see some links to the upstream documentation, how to use Maltus. So next, we can check if microcades uh, add-on has been enabled successfully and we see that Maltus is now reported as enabled and we see that Kubernetes Maltus pods are up and running as we want them to. So next we create the network attachment definition and that instructs Maltus uh, what type of extra network interface we need in our pods and then we apply pod specification. Uh, so our pods are deployed in our cluster with the secondary interface configured properly with all in the it uses proper network type. So the pods uh, has been started successfully. And now we can move on to installation of uh, networking tools inside of the pods. So we can check the networking configuration internally. Let's wait for the process to complete. Okay, the installation has succeeded just now. Now we can log into one of the pods and uh, we'll examine the IP configuration. So we expect now to, the new network interface to be present. We use an uh, IP tool and uh, yes, we see uh, the extra interface that appeared in the output. That is uh, the Maltus interface. It is bound to the private network and we still see the previously available uh, default Kubernetes flannel interfaces. So now we can go to another pod and check the networking connectivity from there. So uh, here we still see uh, the same or similar output of 
network interfaces, we still see the Maltus interface and Flano interface available. Let's try to ping the container we've previously been to. Yeah, so we can ping it using the private network, just fine. We can try to ping remote host using, using private network and it's also working fine. Um, the next test uh, that we can do is we can try to ping the pods from the host using the private network. And it is also successful. We see that packets going through. So we now saw that Maltus enabled us to use secondary host physical interface inside the pods by attaching using Mac interface. Thank you for watching this video.